dude. What are you doing? Hey. Oh, I see some fish. Okay. Come on, I'll help you back up. Okay, that's enough. There's a lot of fish in there. Wow. So many smells. So little time. Hey, this way. Come on. There you go. Several days ago over on the Patreon, I posted a, a question, a, a poll, and I asked if the folks would be interested. Let me back up. So I shoot a lot of video. <laughs> I shoot a lot of video. I have cameras in my hand a lot. And some of the video clips never get posted for a, a multitude of reasons. Uh, I shoot things and then something else comes up. So I post that and then we might move to a different location. And so I'll have a bunch of video left over that never got used. And so over time, those video clips have collected up. I have a a folder on my laptop in my video directory and that folder is called unused. I looked in it when I was typing up this question to ask everyone, all the patrons, I looked in that folder and there were some files that were a little over two years old. And I have cleaned that out before. So I cleaned it out, you know, in the first year because it was getting unruly and it has piled up again. So the question I asked them would, would they be interested in seeing kind of a, a, a mishmash of clips, they're things, you know, they're everyday tasks, um, you know, a lot of lefty video, obviously, just all kinds of stuff. And it would, would they be interested in seeing if I took those clips and kind of put them together and let everybody see these things? And they all said, Yes, they had a they had a great comment. I can't recall who posted it, but said that if if I put it in context, like instead of just releasing a video of all these clips, because, you know, everyone knows we're in New York right now. And if I start posting clips of the Arizona desert right next to a clip of being in Nevada or, you know, it could be confusing for everyone. And, you know, I hadn't even thought of that. So that was a great comment and a great idea. And then someone came up with the idea of naming it something like Fleeting Time or... You all are going to see some videos that will be titled Fleeting Moments. And they will be past video clips of all kinds of stuff. And I hope that you all enjoy them. It is just about breakfast time. I've gotten pretty good at making do and cooking with what I've got here. I'll tell you, this fold-out table is a godsend. I don't, I don't know how I was functioning at all without that before. It's become my go-to station for eating and computer work and just really added such a, such a useful surface area to my, to my kitchen here. Just can't say enough good things about it. That's good enough. Mm. 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 So good. Mm. 
and it's way better than <clears throat> yogurt and granola and fruit but it's good to have a a change I mean I like the yogurt and granola and the fruit but it's every day every day every day this is a nice change oh and you were such a good boy just waiting your turn to get that last little piece of bacon weren't you Buddy, what is it? Oh, I feel terrible. I don't understand what is wrong, buddy. Yes. Something is wrong with his left front paw. He's really limping bad this morning. As soon as we woke up and I let him out the door for the first time, he was limping really bad on his left front paw, and I don't understand. Yesterday we were fine. Um, now, finally, yesterday afternoon, I was able to walk him after the wind died down. But the previous day, we stayed inside the truck all day. The afternoon before that, when I injured my hip. So we've spent the last two and a half days basically um, not doing our normal walking and such. I don't know. His, his pads are definitely dry. I think they're probably cracked from it being so dry. And I'm wondering if because he's been off of it for a couple of days, now it's irritating it to get back on it. But he's definitely, like I can't take him for a walk and I feel terrible. I hate it when he's injured. I wish he could talk, you know? Like, I don't know what the problem is. Oh, he wants to go so bad. What's wrong with that papa? <coughs> hey, 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 hey. What's wrong with your papa? <laughs> is there something wrong with it? Oh. <coughs> Okay, okay. Oh. We're in bad shape. Don't you give me that crazy look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Whoops, I gotta get my keys. Right here. Keys. I know. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. Good dog, sit. Good boy, sit. Come on. See, he's limping. I mean, he was really bad. It's like loosening up now, whatever his, I don't know what his problem is. And you know, this is not the most forgiving landscape out here for an injured paw. You got rocks and you got spiky cactus kind of prickly bushes and you know, all kinds of obstacles. Don't know. Are you excited? Let's get the cover off the cab. You just ready to jump up inside? Ooh. Hold on! talking. Uh, that's that. Stay, stay. Oh my goodness. Already?
ready. Go up in the cab. Go on up in the chair. So this is about to go into the air fryer. Oops. This is a big one. That's going to take a little extra cooking time. So I'm letting it warm up a little bit sitting out here before I put it in the air fryer. Because it's so warm today, I'm going to run the air fryer right over there in the shade next to Lefty. Hopefully he won't uh, try to get it before it's done cooking. So just going to plug in here and that air fryer does pump out a lot of hot air, warm air, and when you're inside it can heat this place up. So I've got the, the little fan running. I'm sure you can hear it. And I've got the roof vent fan running. And the sun has put us in the shade on this side now. It's about 2 p.m. So I'm not following my rules of keeping my door side in the shade because in the mornings up here it was cool, but now in the mornings it's been warm. So the sun is finally going around. So now I got some cool air coming in. So I'm comfortable in here right now, but if I ran that air fryer to cook that jumbo hunk of beef, it would warm me up in here, which I don't really want to do today. I hope y'all like that video, all those clips together. I'm going to be putting out some more of those so I can clean out this directory. I uh, have filled up my four terabyte drive, so it's time to get a second one for backing up all the video work. Thanks everyone for watching. Everybody take care. Be safe. We'll see y'all again really soon. Okay. They're blocking off more and more of the area getting ready for July 4th. Yesterday, let me tell you what he did yesterday. So this baseball field area here, they have it fenced off like 98%. There's one gap way over there. And then there's another one up here. So, come on, this way. So yesterday, we went out into the field, and I let him off the leash so he could run a bit. And we headed out towards the far end. I guess that would be kind of left-center field. This way, left. This way. Come on. And he quickly figured out that the orange plastic fencing that they've set up that he can just scoot right under it, which he did. And you see all those apartments over there, those townhouses? Those didn't used to be there several years ago. Those are all brand new. That was all just wild, wild land there. So between the orange fence and those townhouses is a couple of ponds. So it dips down, so he went screaming down across the pond marsh cattail area up the bank over to the townhouses and was very interested in one of one of the patio areas he was all sniffing around and i'm yelling and he just you know didn't even hear me or more than likely he heard me and just decided not to listen so i had to slide under the fence down the hill up the other side luckily there were some rocks that i could get through the the marshy area without getting wet and i scrambled up the other side and he's just kind of standing there sniffing some stuff and i got him and put his leash back on and i talked to him a lot about his decision he had just made and how that made me feel <laughs> and what my thoughts were and that was that was the end of our walk for yesterday we went straight back to the car after that he upset me